That's the way you like to see him. Big bug, big bug. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, my first deer with a, with a gun. Not if he heal out for your baby. We're laying him down. There's only one reason I'm FaceTiming you right now. I got a freaking giant. You running for guy of the year or what? Hey, who got y'all on the deer? Who told y'all to sit here? <laughs> hey, that'd be me. Good job, Mason. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So this week, we're headed to my favorite hunt of the year, and I know it's Heath's favorite hunt of the year too, but we're headed to the father-son hunt the annual father-son hunt at F.E. Hill Outfitters. We just rolled into the hill and we're down here with Clintop and Blake Hunt from Yellowstone. That's a joke. But he could be on Yellowstone if he wanted to. He actually knows way more than most of the guys on Yellowstone probably. But anyway, we're down here doing a little scouting this evening, uh, getting ready to put a weekend in. The good thing about scouting at the hill is there's always a chance you could shoot something. So, Dead Eye Blake here might get a shot. <laughs> He's on point right now. He's on point right now. You see him point? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Either way, whether we shoot or not, we're gonna have a good time. Kick off this week down to the hill, the annual father son hunt. It's always a good time. So, right on cue, we rounded the corner, and there's a big hog standing at the feeder. You find him in the scope? Yeah. Get that beer clear. Oh, really? Yeah. Got him. Come now. You got him right where we wanted to. Good shooting. 357 yards. <laughs> Little old chip shot, wasn't it? Well, that was. <laughs> well, we all predominantly have been bow hunters over the years, and since we've been going down with John and Clinton and the guys at Hunt Up the Hill, we've kind of got into the long range deal a little bit, and we've kind of got an ongoing competition to see who can make the longest shot. So we're glassing the field, looking at some deer to possibly hunt the next morning, and we're probably 700-ish yards away from where these animals are. Uh, about that time, everything boogers off and in comes a hog. Well, Clinton can't resist himself. He's gonna have to take a crack at it. Well, we put up here on the feeder and there's six or seven good bucks out there that we were wanting to look at on our scouting trip. And a hog showed up to the feeder. He's at 691, we're gonna call it 700. I'm fixing it. Let him have it. As long as the wind doesn't get me, we'll, we'll fix it and get him. I'm fixing to go hot. Oh, baby. <laughs> night, night, Irene, mother hogger. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, that was like 700. 693. Let's be honest with the TV crowd. Okay. That's, that's wicked, boy. That is very wicked. 693. Johnny D, you're going to have to scoot over because Clinton just aired one out at 700 plus, and that takes the title. what he gets for chasing all our deer off. That's what we're trying to look at. Well, we hadn't even been in camp but a couple hours. We got two hogs down. We got deer found to hunt the next morning. So, hey, it's time to go back and get something to eat. I'm fixing to cook them. Why are you cooking? Because Scott was supposed to leave yesterday to get here plenty of time to go to the, to the grocery store today and have all this ready when all the I mean strutting bucks has been our go-to group for years they're 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 family they're not even really clients and and our cook that we rely so much on is not here 
he's two hours out yet. So I'm trying to get all this done. John's gone to the Dallas Cowboys game. Danny's doing family stuff. Justin's doing family stuff. It's the holidays. It's what you're supposed to do. So it's me and, and Carson and six hunters. But we got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got it. You got anything you want to say about that? Yeah, let's go Brandon. <laughs> Strut and Buck is being brought to you by Thermocell. Turn it on. Mosquitoes gone. Expedition. Make your next hunt an expedition. Swagger. Hunt is what we do. Wise Eye Technology. Pattern and predict. And Gray Man Tactical. Conquer your gear. Last year was dad's first trip to hunt Effie Hill and it's hard to explain to people the amount of game that you're gonna see. And that first morning, it did not take him long before he was itching to pull the trigger. second year first morning and it's basically a replay of last year we got a good buck sitting right in front of us and and i'm doing everything i can to hold him back to where i can get enough camera light so he can get a deer shot While Dad and I were sitting here watching these bucks, Landon was on the other side of the farm getting settled in for his morning hunt.
Well, I held him back as long as I could, but I know of Dad, and he's fixing to send it. Strut and Buck is being brought to you by Big and J. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Muddy Outdoors. High quality products at affordable prices. Numa, Geared for the outdoors. And Cold Steel. Anytime. Anywhere. We don't get to do it as much as we used to, but it's always awesome to be able to get, to go on a hunt with my dad. I mean, father, son, he's the one that taught me basically what I know about the outdoors. And to be able to share a hunts with him, especially as he's getting older, it, I, they become more special, it seems like, every year. He is pretty, ain't Mm-hmm. He's going to be 10.2. <laughs> yeah. Are we in trouble? No. Uh, no, that's perfect. He's long. He's nine point. Right here's what I can tell you that made him. Yep. I'm going to shoot him. So we got dad tagged out and I actually brought my bow and the F.E. Hill boys, they like to make fun of that. They don't like shooting bows, but I don't really care because I need to shoot some stuff with my bow. So I'm gonna get in the tree and see what I can't get killed. We're kinda in a little pinch point in here in some timber between two fields, a grown up field behind us and a cow pasture out in front of us. So we're gonna settle in here and see what happens. Maybe we'll get a shot at a hog or a doe or something. I've had a rough year and I would like to shoot something. I wasn't the only one that brought a bow this trip. Landon, he also brought his bow and him and his dad are in a blind and he's trying to get uh, opportunity at one with his archery gear. It's our first evening hunt of the F.E. Hill father and son hunt. And um, this is the sixth year we've came down here to do this. So it's, it's, it's been a long ride, but it's, it's always something different. It's always something fun. Uh, we managed to get out here in a ground blind and uh, we got to bring the bow and the gun. So uh, we're hoping we can get it done with the bow today. It's really warm, but uh, they moved a little bit this morning, so I'm hoping they kick up in the afternoon, probably really close to dark. But uh, let's just cross our fingers and hope a nice mature deer.
Strut and Buck is being brought to you by Los Cazadores, hunters and ranchers serving hunters and ranchers. Heated core, next to skin warmth at the touch of a button. Texas Trophy Hunters, the voice of Texas hunting. And Trophy Scan, celebrate, score, replicate. One thing the guys at Honey Fee Hill are always challenged with is getting enough does killed for their management program. So that's kind of what I had in mind with my bow is I'm, I'm gonna get, you know, out and poke around and see if I can't get some does killed for them. Here she is, big old pretty doe. I, uh, this is actually my first deer of the year. I, uh, I've been hunting specific bucks and hadn't really taken a chance to shoot any doe, so we're down here on a father son hunt, so I'm taking advantage of it. What a fun morning, man. We're gonna get her drug out. The buzzard was trying to get on her pretty bad, so get her drug over here to the road where we can meet Scotty with her. So things are off to a great start on the father-son hunt. We've got several animals down and, you know, at Hunt F.E. Hill, it's a target-rich environment. But I still got my bow in my hand. Gavin, he's after a special buck down in the bottoms. We got a lot of good footage coming up in the next week. And Heath and Jeremiah have a little surprise for the boys. Maybe a trip to Florida in the books.